Well, a very good afternoon, everybody, and happy Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us today for a webinar I know you'll find helpful and informative. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and TravelProfessionalNews.com, I want to welcome all of you, and thank you for taking time out of your day to join us. I am really pleased to welcome as our host today, Outside Agents. Our speaker is Chad Burt. Chad is a serial entrepreneur with over 25 years of experience building businesses into huge successes. He's also one of the owners of OutsideAgents.com, America's premier host agency and five-time Magellan Award winner and CLIA Hall of Fame Award winner for innovation. And we certainly congratulate them on that. Chad's topic today is Master Your Process to Master Your Profits. And I know it's going to be a really interesting discussion. Please remember that you are all muted during this webinar, but we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. When Chad is finished with his presentation, we'll take as many questions as we can. Also at the end of the presentation, Chad will be giving away a $50 gift card. So I know you'll want to stick around to hear how you can be the winner of that wonderful gift. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Chad now so he can get started. Welcome, Chad. Hi, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Nice introduction there, Sandy. I really do appreciate it. Hey, folks, I'm super excited to be here. I just can't tell you how thrilled I am to have this opportunity to share with you something that I feel is the most important aspect of your business, and that is your business process. Now, I'm going to try to avoid making this sound like some kind of you know, collegiate lecture on business or anything like that and share with you instead some real-world experience about the importance of the business process and what elements of a business process for most important to you. Now, I know we all love, you know, a nice one hour webinar, but this isn't one of those. I'm gonna to try to keep it a little short for you, maybe 20 minutes. So I'm gonna cover a lot of ground pretty quickly, but understand we'll be uh, taking all your questions and whatnot there towards the end of the presentation. So without further ado, let's get started. First, a little bit about us. Um, I'm the goofy looking one on the right, and the other goofy looking one on the left is my business partner, Steve Maraca. Uh, we're also cousins, we grew up together. Uh, so we're, we're real fortunate to have uh, you know a family business where we get along and actually enjoy hanging around with each other. And this was the goofiest picture that, that I found of the two of us together, and I thought it was appropriate. Um, I just wanted to kind of let you know that, that we've been around a long time, uh, since 1992. We've been family-owned and operated since then. And we, just like you, are entrepreneurs. We started with you know a, a couple bucks and some hope. Uh, when we got started back in 1992, and we know what it takes to build a business. We know the time, effort, the confusion, the learning curve. There's just so much that goes into building a business. So please understand what I'm going to share with you today is coming from that perspective, from somebody who's started with one client and grown their business into something that's pretty successful. Um, as a matter of fact, we're in our ninth consecutive year of triple-digit revenue growth, and more importantly, our per agent revenue is up 32% since just last year. Um, nearly 80% of our new members come by referral, and we're a community of over 4,300 travel professionals. We're also recognized as one of the top three hosts in North America, having won all kinds of awards that we're both very proud of and humbled by at the same time. So why do I tell you all that? Because I want you to know that we're entrepreneurs are just like you, and we managed to, to build a successful business by teaching others how to build a successful business. So how did we do that? Well, we found a process. And I'm not exaggerating at all. We had to find a process in order to manage our business, because if we were just chasing around doing things one at a time, there's no way we could support our agents. So I'd like to now start exploring the process that I'd like for you folks to consider building as you move forward. So what is a business process? Okay, the Process is where rubber meets the road. Process is, in our industry, the ability to manage clients, manage bookings and accounting, manage money, uh, manage your marketing, deliver marketing. Uh, it, in a nutshell, the process is designed to help you maximize your efficiency so that you spend more time with your clients by spending less time on day-to-day, -day, daily kinds of tasks and whatnot. So my point is very simple. We're gonna to try to find a process that maximizes you. Remember, there's only so much of you to go around. So you need to find a way to, to 
maximize what you can do. So towards that end, I want you to think about workflows instead of just work. Okay? Don't think about tasks. Tasks are a one-off thing that, that ultimately are going to become overwhelming. I, I laugh and I, I tell people it was the truth. In my 20s, I was a professional juggler. Okay, and a juggler, all it is is three balls. The, the process is real easy. You throw one ball, you catch one ball, and you keep one in the air. No big deal. But if I just put three balls on the ground and throw them up one at a time and put them back down, not only does it look kind of silly, it's not a very efficient system or process. So, again, don't just pick up a ball and throw it and put it back down on the ground. Put it up in the air. Get it into a process. Get it into a flow. And I build a process that leverages technology to do more with less time and effort. Now, some of you, I understand, you know, aren't best friends with technology. But nowadays, uh, technology really is much simpler than it used to be and much, much, much more powerful than it's ever been. And throughout this discussion, I'm going to be talking with you about making sure that your systems are integrated. I mean, we all remember the days when we had you know, nine different pieces of software, we load it off of a CD, and we take it and copy it and paste it into the next system or try to type it into another, and none of them talked and all that. And today, I want to be talking to you about how to avoid that. Today's systems uh, should be integrated. The Internet nowadays and technology is built to be integrated. Um, and at the end of the day, by finding this process that maximizing you, maximizes you and that optimizes your workflows, What's going to happen is you're going to become more progressive. You're going to stay ahead of the pack. You're going to be a shining star because of it. So my first point that I'd like to address as it pertains to a business process is that, and if you think of anything today, okay, remember this, you need a CRM, a client relationship management system. Okay, this is going to enable you to manage your clients, not the other way around. Too often we're, we're chasing what the client asked us to do instead of being proactive and letting the clients know what they need to do next. So I'm throughout this thing, I'm going to encourage you to be proactive rather than reactive. A business process, a business system, allows you to get ahead of the tasks and be proactive with your clients rather than reactive, which means that you're going to spend a lot less time chasing your tail. And a CRM helps you leverage automation by increasing efficiency and by promoting a highly professional image. Most of us here today are home-based, and one of the most important things for any business, but in particularly for somebody who's home-based, is to consistently and continually promote a highly professional image. And then, of course, it's imperative that you maximize your time and resources. A good CRM is going to make all of this very easy for you. So what should a client relationship management platform do? Well, it should automate communications, okay? There's lots of communications that can be triggered by information that you've already put into the CRM when you enter the booking. You already have their birth date, okay? You know the day they're leaving. You know the day they're coming back. You might even know their anniversary. And, uh, you know, that, that you can actually send them an email, and the CRM should do this automatically for you. Okay? You shouldn't have to be typing one-off emails to your clients or setting reminders in your Google Calendar to send a bon voyage letter to somebody. You might you know, only have to open up Word, copy, and paste it into an email. But if you didn't have to worry about that at all and it just sent it, wouldn't that be better? And since you already have this information, where they went, uh, what they spent, the, their favorite vendors or cruise lines or properties, uh, et cetera, um, then shouldn't the CRM integrate with the marketing system? The technology we use does, and uh, there's some others out there that are trying to do the same thing because it's that critical. Look, again, you've already inputted this client's information. You already have their email address. So why not use an automated, uh, integrated email marketing system that can pick that up and deliver custom-built, pre-made, professional-grade emails to your clients without you doing a single thing? It just happens automatically. Set it, forget it, and it happens. Also, a CRM should help you create custom workflows. Okay? For every trip, there are certain steps that you probably take. Okay? Disney is a great example. There's so many steps to a Disney trip so often. Um, or even just a simple cruise. The Bon Voyage letter, your documents letter, your reminders, your welcome home, 
uh, final payment dates, second payment dates on a group, all of this should be managed within your CRM based on a custom workflow. And I emphasize custom because each of you is different. Right? Some of you are real high touch. Some of you like email. Some of you like direct mail. Some of you like to make phone calls. A CRM should be able to prompt you to do the, ta the, the things that you need to do uh, in person and should automate the things that you can do through technology. Um, it should track whole trips rather than individual bookings. Okay? The days of having a manila folder with 15 different vendor confirmations in there and tracking 15 different uh, vendor confirmation numbers uh, independently, I think, has is, is come and gone. Um, a good CRM, such as the one we use, um, will group that those individual reservations into a trip. So your pre, your post, your excursions, your insurance, everything's included under one trip, and then you manage that trip as a function of its individual bookings. So again, now we're not trying to remember that Mrs. Jones has a you know one day pre or something like that. It's handling it for us. Um, and, of course, we all love money. A good CRM should report and pay commission in near real time. Um, in our system, for example, uh, we pay every Tuesday. We pay once a week. Um, and you typically see your bookings – well, you input your own bookings, so, so you're going to see them there in live in real time. And the moment that a commission is received, we post it, and you can see that as well. You can see what your next trip is going to – I mean, your next check is going to look like. Everything's right there at your fingertips. You shouldn't have to be hunting down spreadsheets to cross-check your commission and all this kind of stuff. And you sure as heck shouldn't have to be going through manila folders to see which ones were paid and which ones weren't. And again, in our system, we're able to, to enhance your business and professional image by creating and delivering custom proposals, invoices, and itineraries in a unified online environment. The reason I mention a unified online environment, I'll explain what that is here in a second, but it, when I say a unified online environment, there should be one place that your client can go to to see everything about their booking. So a good CRM, uh, like ours, what we did, is create a client portal. Now all of your communication with your client is maintained there. You guys can instant message back and forth. Your client can see all their confirmations and documents right there in front of them, and it's all in one place. So when they're traveling, they're not trying to hunt down, uh, you know, your 15 different emails confirming their trip and kind of assembling it. It's all done right there for you, and I'll show you that here in just a sec. So this is some of what a good CRM should do, and I'll show you some kind of screenshots for here real quick. Like I was mentioning before, in a good CRM, a trip is managed uh, as an entire trip under which you find bookings. So in our system, you would add their flight, a property, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you'd be able to see in one screen all of their uh, bookings, all of their payments. Um, and up here, if you'd created a custom workflow, you'd be able to see next steps and check off boxes for steps that you want to take and steps that you want to skip. Then I had mentioned uh, email marketing. So, as I mentioned before, a good CRM should have integrated email marketing. Um, as you can see here, not only does a, a good CRM deliver emails, it tells you what happened with those emails, who opened them, how many were delivered, uh, how long it took for them, how many clicks you got, how many unsubscribes you got, how many spam reports you got, who clicked what, who responded to what, who took action on something. And because our CRM is integrated with our consumer-facing websites, all this information is in one place. So when an email goes out for you, again, in, in terms of a business process, that should be happening pretty much automatically for you. And you should be getting reports. You shouldn't be flying blind and wondering who clicked what, how things happened, what's being successful, what emails work better than others, and so on. Then... I've mentioned the client portal. Okay, so this is an environment where your client can log in. Again, this is all an automated function of stuff that you're already doing in the CRM. What we're doing is taking that information and repurposing it for presentation to the client. So here they can see their complete itinerary, cool little map. They can see every single detail moving through. It's really cool. And think about it from the 
traveler's perspective. They've got all that in one spot, one click on their phone, they go through, they go to the website, and boom, all of it's right there for them. And you can see a summary of all your trips and proposals for that client. And your client and you can go back and forth on it. And then let's say I, you know, we drill down past the, the client qualification stage and we really want to get down to a heavy hitting proposal. Well, a good CRM should enable you to do that. And it should enable you to take maps, photos. I think we have close to half a million, maybe just shy of that, half a million photos available for you. It should give you all your itinerary information, all the room details, all the amenities details everything then I can assemble that into a beautiful uh, proposal sent out over to them via the client portal and then we can go ahead and close that deal and of course as I mentioned before I just had to show you this you can go ahead and build your own templates for happy birthday happy anniversary whatever whatever occasion you want a good CRM should be able to trigger that based on data that you already have in the system now I'm going to State the obvious, but it needs to be said. Use the internet. You have to use the internet nowadays. Now, there's some of you who say, I don't like the internet. My customers don't use the internet. Uh, I don't need a website. My business is cooking along just fine. Look, I'm telling you straight up. Our network of websites uh, has 1.5 million unique visitors a month coming through it for our agents. 1.5 million unique visitors a month. I've got some snapshots of the websites that we provide there. Um, but you have to have one. Maybe not all your clients use it, but nowadays a website is a minimal requirement for being a professional in my opinion. If somebody pulls up at my house and wants to pressure wash my driveway, I'm gonna say, sure, you got a website? So you have to have a website. It should be responsive, mobile enabled, content rich. Remember, content is king. Um, and it should do things for the client, like provide real-time pricing, inventory, specials, promotions, destination guides, content guides, et cetera, just like what we do with our custom websites. But beyond having a, a, a really nice website out there, um, this content rich, please, please, please don't try to curate all of your own content. You know, you're never going to be able to keep up with it. Okay. But once you have your, your website and you kind of have an idea about what you want to do, please go buy a domain. Okay. Go buy a domain. Don't ever use a subdomain. People, it, well, you can use it after the initial visit, but when people see, you know, mytravelhut.com forward slash 158697. They know that's an affiliate website and, and automatically the, the brand image is reduced slightly. So go buy a domain, it's gonna cost about 11 bucks a year, no big deal. Um, and then you wanna get an email associated with it. This is so important. So many of us use our Gmail account or, or you know some, some off the shelf uh, email account, but studies show conclusively that people, consumers trust primary domain names more than I'm sorry, primary email addresses at their own domain more than they trust somebody at a Gmail account. And automatically, when I'm talking to you about business and I've got, I wear fuzzy slippers on Sundays at AOL.com as an email address, they automatically take us down a notch as far as their opinion of us and their willingness to do business with us. So like we use GoDaddy, I think it's two or three dollars a month. They'll give you an email address with like five aliases. So you can have you know a total of six different addresses that all come to one email box. And you can sort by the alias and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, for two or three bucks a month, the, the, the notch up that you get is totally, totally worth it. And make sure it connects to your marketing and CRM systems. Your, your website really should connect to your marketing and, and CRM systems. When somebody requests a quote on your website, that should come into your CRM so you can start working it there, building a proposal, setting up your workflow, developing or implementing your process. Um, and then once it's in the CRM, it should go right into your marketing system. I shouldn't have to be going two to three different places to get my basic operational requirements satisfied. So what we did was we linked our websites, our marketing, and our CRM all together so that we optimize your workflow. And I would also encourage you, I, I know I said try not to curate all of your own content, but you do need to create some constant content. So without boring you folks to tears, I'll, I'll kind of explain it this way. Google doesn't 
rank duplicate content very highly. If you're using any kind of, of website system provided to you, there's going to be a lot of duplicate content. Not on your site. All the content will be you know, unique on that. But that same content can be used across multiple sites. Therefore, search engines kind of reduce its value in, in, in their little logarithms, right? So what you want to do is you want to go in there and create custom pages, custom landing pages. Okay? Do you want to buy uh, a travel agent in your neighborhood? I'm from Jacksonville, so I might do a page on, you know, we're one of the top travel agencies in Jacksonville. We've been in Jacksonville since 1992. Da, 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 da. That way, if somebody's searching for a travel agent in Jacksonville, that custom content is going to have a high ranking uh, or has the opportunity to have a high ranking in the engines. Um, do custom content like we provide you guys with a tool called My Booking Genie, where you can create a microsite for groups. I'll embed that in your website. Okay, if you've got a group coming up, talk about it on your website. It's unique content, and it's going to cause the spiders to, to crawl your site and rank that content just a little bit higher. So what I tell people is this. When you're out there, you, know, you should be doing a, a little bit of social media marketing. When you're writing your, your you know, piece of the month or, or your piece of the week or whatever like that, take that and throw it on your website. Every now and then, push some content from your site to social media. Our sites allow you to do that with one click, but at least you have content that's being spread around, and if you have custom content, that's even better. So again, promote your trips using social media and custom landing pages like we do with My Booking Genie. Um, and then you should be collecting and managing booking registrations, uh, requests, and purchases, and all of this should be going directly into your CRM. So like, for example, in our system, if somebody books on your website, that goes straight into your, uh, your CRM. You get an email, so you can go double check it and follow up with the client. Um, but now it's in the CRM, which means it's in the marketing system, which means that your workflow has been optimized because you haven't done much. I mean, you maybe have 10 seconds of time invested in that whole process. It's all done for you. Speaking of bookings, I want you to get in the habit of using powerful booking tools. I know that there's lots of us that really like the phone. We want to get on the phone and talk to somebody about a booking with a vendor and all that, and that's wonderful. But again, as we seek workflows and efficiencies and optimization, you should be using online booking tools for a large portion of your day-to-day -day transactions because they allow you to search multiple vendors simultaneously. And it allows you to spot upsells and competitive advantages, and they save you time while presenting a professional image. So for example, our primary booking tool that we provide you with allows you to search every major cruise line on Earth at the same time by multiple criteria and then show all of those cruises side by side, inside, outside, balcony and suite pricing, apply rate codes, controls, et cetera, and actually complete the booking right there. It also does uh, air and hotel in a similar manner. So this allows you to do a lot more a lot quicker than you could on the phone or by using individual websites or individual vendor websites one at a time. And these will oftentimes allow you to retrieve bookings regardless of origin. Okay? So in other words, I might have created a booking with, let's say, for example, Carnival or Sandals or something like that. Many of these can be retrieved back into a good CRM so that you don't have to do double duty. And most importantly, these tools should connect to your back office systems. So like I indicated with ours, you know, booking happens on your website or on your side of our, our uh, Power Agent platform. And uh, those are now inputted directly into your back office. And these booking tools allow you to present world-class proposals. Just as I showed you earlier, our systems allow you to, to present really sharp looking proposals. Um, our Power Agent tool allows you to build custom quotes that'll send out an awesome, beautiful quote to your clients that shows them every detail of their trip, pictures, the whole nine yard pro, uh, pricing, your comments, the detailed itinerary, the whole nine yards, and that's all done in line in the business process. In other words, no extra work for you. And at the end of the day, it allows you to give client direct access to their documents, invoices, communications, and more. So at the end of the day, I mean, this is really about staying on top of your game, all right? And one of the most important things that you can do to stay on top of your game is to leverage a learning management system. There's lots of places out there, Travel Academy, I think, Travel Institute. We actually uh, have gotten four, 
Magellan's in a row for our learning management system and our CLIA uh, Hall of Fame award for innovation was doing very large part to what we've done with our learning management system, providing you folks with over a thousand hours of on-demand custom training developed just for you. And it tracks what you do, it tracks how you're doing, it, it gets your mentor involved. Heck, it even as you complete courses will update your website to show that you've completed a particular type of course. So let's say you completed the river cruise training. Well, now on your website, a badge will appear saying that you're a river cruise specialist and your client can actually click on that link and see all the work you did to attain that status. Um, our learning management system also allows you to aggregate external learning sources. So let's say you're doing classes at Travel Institute or wherever you might be doing them at, and you complete something, you can upload your certificate into our system and we'll actually give you credit towards your badges. And another valuable thing is that look, your host, your business partner, you by yourself, you, you, you might be very knowledgeable, okay? but none of us um, are so knowledgeable that we can't benefit from mentoring from experienced agents. That's one of the reasons why we built our back office on a social platform, a concept, concept I should say. It's not a Facebook page at all, but we built a custom social uh, environment where our 4,300 agents can talk and interact and ask questions and study and read and see what's going on and see what's trending. Uh, and then we have in-house mentors that are available to our agents as well. Whatever you're doing, whatever host you're with, whatever consortium you're with, take advantage of the learning tools that they're giving you. Take that stuff seriously. It, it's important. I, I'm certain that, that none of you would want to go to a doctor that hadn't done a continuing education class in a decade. I'm equally certain that you wouldn't want to go to a doctor that had not spoken to another doctor in a decade. Okay, So jump in there and take advantage of whatever learning uh, management systems your, your current host or consortium offers. Uh, and then really dive into social interaction with social travel, um, with, with your fellow travel professionals. And then finally, in terms of staying on top of your game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beg you, invest in live hands-on training and enrichment. And we just uh, built and, and deployed it over the past year or so uh, a 12,000 square foot agent development and training center. Okay? We did that so we can bring our agents in-house into a state-of-the-art facility and, and get them engaged in workshops. Look, you can take all the classes you want online, and I encourage you to do that, but nothing replaces being next to your fellow agents in a workshop environment, a hands-on environment, where you can actually get in there and use the tools, explore the tools, interact with the tools, and interact with each other. So at the end of the day, the most important thing to remember here is that everything should link together. Okay. It has to link together. If you've got isolated or what we call siloed systems, you're going to have a bad day. You're not going to be as efficient as you could be. You're not going to present the, the, the best image that you could. So when you enter a booking, it should be automatically in your marketing system. I'm just throwing out some, just some highlights for you. Right? When a lead hits your website, it should drop right into your CRM. It should absolutely improve efficiencies by reducing redundancies. All of your systems should be based on workflows, okay? based on multiple criteria. You know, as I mentioned, a cruise workflow is probably different than a tour workflow. It's probably different than a Disney workflow. And it's probably different than a honeymoon workflow. And over time, you're going to develop these business processes, these workflows, that are going to enable you to be more efficient, more professional, make more, and spend less time doing it. Now, again, I mentioned this earlier, but in my mind, seeing real-time financial, marketing, learning, and other data in a robust, customizable environment gives you insight into what you're doing. Okay? Oftentimes, you know, as you're cooking along through your day, you may be you know, really focused on the tasks at hand, and having robust reporting can give you the ability to step back from those day-to-day tasks, those individual phone calls and emails and so on, and see a higher level overview of your operations that oftentimes will reveal some opportunities for improvement. So just kind of in summary, what I'm really trying to drive home with you is that if you're doing tasks, you're going to run out of you. If you're just task-driven, there's not enough of you to go around to 
and become a hugely successful mega player agent. And so you have to find a process. You have to find a workflow. That business process is what is ultimately going to define you and enable you to become bigger than you've ever been before. So with that having been said, I would like, like to open this up to any questions that anybody might have. Thanks so much, Chad. That was really wonderful information. Um, I want to remind our agents, if you have questions for Chad or comments about anything that he said, now is a good time to type them in to the question area. Chad, I, I liked that not only did you identify the different parts of the process that needs to take place uh, to be a successful agent, but you also mentioned uh, how to streamline those processes so that you're you're not bogged down trying to be all things to all people. Uh, so many of us, us run um, home-based uh, agencies, uh, one-person shops, and uh, we need to find a way to streamline the processes that we do develop to uh, not be bogged down with the nuts and bolts of everything uh, every single day. I, I really liked your presentation in that you showed not only what the parts of the process need to be, but um, but how to streamline them. Stream, streamline them. So thank you for doing that. I, I appreciate that, Sandy. That, that at the core of it, you know, today today's world is so competitive that if you're not running lean and mean you're probably going to fall behind. So that, that's why I, I stress the idea of, of process streamlining and, and efficiencies. I also really appreciate that uh, you mentioned uh, your new state-of-the-art facility for hands-on in-person training. Uh, a lot of us, again, a lot of us are home-based um, and don't have that day-to-day uh, -day person sitting next to us to uh, discuss things with. We're, we're rather isolated. And, uh, you know, the internet is great for that, but there's nothing that can match uh, in-person networking and, uh, and communication. I think that's a really important part of, uh, of being the best agent that you can be. So I, I appreciated that also. Um, one of our agents wants to know, do you lose your identity of your agency? Oh, no, absolutely not. Um, in, in my opinion, a, a good host should be inv invisible in general, but your technology should always be you. It should always be your, your name at the top, your logo, your contact information. This is about you and your business. If a CRM or any booking technology or any other piece of technology takes some part of your business identity away from you, then I would start looking for a technology or a system to replace that one. This is about you and your business and your brand. Okay? Your brand is what constitutes a huge portion of your value. And so every system you use should make sure that your brand is what we call TDC, top dead center. Hmm. I like that term. Um, how can you be sure that um, you're getting or you will get the appropriate support that you need if you run into any issues? In general, here, here's my general rule, rule of thumb, okay? I understand companies get busy and all that kind of stuff. You have to have multiple ways of contacting, interacting with your vendors, host partners, et cetera. For example, what we did, we have a ticketing desk. Right? We have a direct email hotline. We have three inside uh, mentors available to you. Um, and Steve and I make ourselves personally available to you uh, via our cell phones, or everybody has our extension as well. So support issues, a lot of times, can be handled in a quick email or a ticket through a system. Like in our system, when you submit a ticket, there's 11 different people that can see that ticket and can jump on it right away. So it's probably going to be faster than emailing somebody directly unless it's a you know, very, very specific question that needs to be answered by a particular person. Uh, but we back that ticketing system up with direct access to your mentors and your direct access to Steve and I. And the way I kind of prove that we're doing a good job is this. Um, in terms of support, we're doing a great job. But the way I prove it is this. If we weren't being proactive, if we were being reactive, if we didn't have a process in place, there's no way on earth I would have time to even be on this call. I would be so busy, you know, fielding calls and complaints and all that. So again, our process is to be proactive rather than reactive and have a backup plan at all times. And that backup plan is direct access to Steve and I. 
That's wonderful. Um, thank you. One of our agents wants to know, um, you had talked about um, information flowing between the CRM and uh, websites. If somebody comes to outside agents, for example, with an already existing website, does that relationship uh, electronically still exist between that website and the CRM? Yes and no. Um, yes, if, if bookings occur in, within the booking engine of our site, then that information can be retrieved elsewhere and used elsewhere. Um, but if a lead or a quote request comes through that's not a live booking, then we don't have the means yet to connect that to an external uh, system. But we do have, uh, you, you do get an email with a summary of all the information and it should be uh, sufficient for you to go ahead and input it into your own systems. And also using our systems on your own website, you can take our live booking engine and embed it in any site in the world. Oh, that's, that's fabulous. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that um, does it for the questions for now. If our agents um, have questions that they think of after this webinar, um, Chad, do you have uh, contact information for someone they can reach out to about them? Sure. Uh, my number is 866-208-5604. Uh, or you can reach me at chad at outsideagents.com. And Steve is also available at steve at outsideagents.com. Okay, perfect. Easy to remember, too. Yeah. Um, so I think we are just about ready to do the very generous prize giveaway that we discussed. Uh, and here's how it's going to work. Uh, Chad is going to ask a question about something that he discussed during this webinar. Actually, he's going to um, give you a sentence with a fill-in-the-blank word. And the fifth correct answer I see come across my screen will be the winner of a very generous $50 gift card. And we will pass your information along to Chad so uh, uh, he can get in touch with you with information about how to redeem the card. So, Chad, whenever you're ready, go ahead and ask your question, and I will let you know who has the correct answer. Uh, I tell you what, this question is going to tell me if I if I got my point across at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. This, this question here should be just a dead ringer. This should be pretty darn easy. Okay. So using automation, using automation is the best way to build your business blank. Sound like a old TV show, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> using automation is your best way to build your business blank. Okay, we have answers pouring in. And uh, <laughs> as I said, we'll, we'll take the fifth correct answer. So let's see. Okay, we have a winner and the whip winner, the winner is Ruby Cade. Ruby Cade, congratulations. You are the winner Ruby, of, of the $50 gift card and Chad will be uh, getting in touch with you about how to, um, uh, how to take advantage of that. So congratulations to Ruby. I wanna thank you. Our host today has been OutsideAgents.com and our speaker has been Chad Burt, co-owner. Chad, this was absolutely fantastic information. Thank you so much for giving us this great webinar today. Thank you so much, Sandy. It was a blast. I really enjoyed it. And if anybody has any questions, problems, concerns, or just want to talk, you folks have our phone number. Call us anytime, okay? Excellent. And by the way, the correct answer was process. <laughs> Using automation yeah, is okay. the best way to create your business. And the correct answer was process. So um, congrats again to Ruby. And I want to thank all of our agents on this call for taking time out of your day to be with us today. I know you learned a lot and uh, hopefully it's information you can use right away. So thanks again for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye now.